Alright everybody, what is up? Welcome back, it is Goon, and how are we? I'm pretty fucking good. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm hopefully you guys are having a good one as well. So, let's jump right into today's video. So, if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, hopefully we can smash that like button. Hopefully we can shoot for four likes. I think that we can hit four likes. I think even though four likes is a pretty big ask, I think we can hit it. Because you guys are absolute fucking champions. So let's jump right into today's video. So today is just a Call of Duty Infinite Warfare informational kind of video. And as we all know, the Infinite Warfare beta comes out next week, October 14th. But oh, for people who live in Australia or any or anyone that that is currently maybe 12 to 14 hours ahead of America, it comes out on Saturday. It comes out at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I really don't know what time is that uh, if you convert it to Australian time. I don't know. You might have to check on that one yourself. So it comes... It goes from the uh, October 14th to October 17th and we also get two weekends if you guys didn't know that so we get the uh, next week uh, we get Saturday week and the week after that we also get the another weekend so we get two weekends which is basically the same amount of time that we got in the Black Ops 3 beta which is pretty unfair for the Xbox to be honest because you know you're just getting punished for selecting a, uh, a console that your friends are basically on no, that, that, that your friends are based on but that is a whole new that's a whole new different topic for another video for a different day so let's jump right into the information that we were given by Charlie Intel so three maps are going to be uh, released to us like in the Black Ops 3 beta in the Black Ops 3 beta we ended up getting um, oh, initially we got two maps evac and combine but I think it was like two like a day or two after we ended up getting uh, stronghold but we are given three map three maps straight off the bat we got frontier frost and throwback they seem like pretty good um, pretty good maps where we are by looking at these and by looking at pictures I've seen all over the internet we've already seen these um, these maps in the trailer and all the gameplay that we've seen so and currently we only have uh, I think it's four game modes TDM kill confirmed domination and defender so that is just just the general the general game modes that we do expect to see in the beta and we also we only have three combat rigs which is a bit unfortunate that we're only limited to not even like like we are very limited when it comes to the features in infinite warfare even though the game is already completed and it's not even class it shouldn't even be classified as a beta it's basically a demo a free demo free trial of the game so we already we already know the uh what the combat rigs are if you guys haven't seen the uh videos all over youtube we already have warfighter we got the merc and we got the synaptic is it is it synaptic yeah we got the synaptic payload so they are just all the three combat rigs, and I'm just going to quickly go through the uh, their specialist or their their, their traits. What the, the, this, just basically their abilities. So the payload uh, for the payload one, we're going with the warfighter. So it's the claw ray power. It's basically like a scythe, powerful spread shot weapon, fire bullets that can ricochet around corners. Combat focus allows you to double points when you uh, kill people. Overdrive gives you speed boost, so fucking you'll be just running around like an absolute champion, like on crack. Traits we got ping, which is basically like ping from go uh, from ghost. You kill someone, and it gives off gives off a uh, sonar ping and sees uh, enemies within that radius. Uh, persistence score streaks don't count, uh, don't reset after death, but after de after you, after when you die, but they cost a hell of a lot more. And we got resupply, which allows you to resupply your tacticals and lethals. With the payload number two, which is the Merc, you got the Steel Dragon, which is basically the Tempest, the uh, heavy beam weapon that can target multiple enemies. I think it's like the Tempest. We got the Bull Charge, where you pull out like a fucking armored riot and you just charge it, cunts. And we got the Reactive Armor, which is just the uh, kinetic armor. And for the traits, we have the Infusion when triggered, reg uh, basically like IC. You just regenerate health faster. Man at arms. Heavy weapons won't slow you down. And you start with maximum ammo. So it's basically like the Black Ops 3 movement. You like you just run around like an absolute champ with LMGs and it doesn't even feel like that you're using an LMG. We've got Shockwave. Slam, your sh uh, slam yourself into the ground and enemies with, dev with a dev devastating jump. So it's like ad um, advanced warfare when you just stomp on people. And with the Synaptic, it is just the... Um, the payload that comes with it is the equalizer dual arm machine guns with built-in suppressor for close quarters compact. I don't know what that is. We got rewind, rewinds your position and replenishes it. Oh, so it's like um that bird from uh, from Overwatch where you uh, you can teleport backwards in time and you can uh, regen health. It's like glitch, but you go back in time. That's le that's legit what it is. A better version of glitch. And we got Reaper, switches you to a four-legged rapid melee combat mode. So you basically run around like a fucking like a fucking leopard or a lion or something. You just start ripping and shredding people up like absolute fucking like a fucking superstar. And for the traits, we got combat burst. After each kill, you gain a boost of move movement speed. Then we got the propulsion jump that that allows you to uh, reach 
recharge quickly, your pack recharges qu quickly and allows you to damage enemies underneath you with the blast from your jump pack. So it's like afterburner, but you can deal damage when you're jumping over people, which doesn't really make sense. And we got rush down, allows you to dash in any horizontal direction. So it's basically they're implementing advanced warfare movement only as like as a oh, for a specialist ability. So that is pretty cool, and it looks like they've toned down the movement in Infinite Warfare. It looks like this but mainly physics based movement. You're not running around like an absolute champ, like lightweight fucking you're legit like it feels like that you're actually you like the people or like your characters in this game actually weigh something you're actually being weighed down by your own weight it's like all physics based which i do thoroughly enjoy and i really do like because the last two call of duties have been absolutely shit house which i uh, in my personal opinion because the movement you're like you move that fast you just uh, you just get absolutely destroyed because you move that quick and like you're looking 20 feet up in the air and it's just it just completely unfair so that is really it for, uh, for today's video guys if you guys did enjoy as i said make sure to slap a like on it hopefully we can go for four likes four champion likes if you four champions can leave a like I'm gonna love you for a long time. So if you guys, and also if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to uh, subscribe to me. Make sure to follow me on Twitter because there's a lot of lot of quality banter on Twitter. I always talk a lot of shit. I'm just gonna keep mentioning that in all my videos because there's a lot of quality banter on Twitter, and I really do love good quality banter. So that is really for me uh, for me today, guys. Hope you guys will have. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.